Hello Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of January 17th. Now we're going to go ahead and tap into any channel messages from your spirit guides as well as what to expect, what to focus on, uh, you know, throughout this week. Um, be sure to read the information and the disclaimer in the description box below. And if you guys haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so you can stay alert when I do post more of these videos for you. Um, there was something else I was going to say and I totally forgot. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Um, before we get into it, also be sure to like the video um, because it does help me uh, channel your energy as well and leave a comment down below afterwards, okay? So... Let's go ahead and get into it for you, Gemini. I hope you guys are having a great day so far, or at least getting it started. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants you guys to know, what you guys should be focusing on, what you should be doing, what to expect, all that good stuff, as well as your challenges, okay? Either I suck at shuffling or I don't know. <laughs> what it looks like here <laughs> now your current challenge right now is coming up as the six of swords um as far as what to do it's the justice card and then of course you have the ten of wands which is what to embrace as far as sorry about that that's the computer as far as um what to expect with the two of cups here and the queen of swords and then you have what to let go with the six of wands and what you need to focus on with the five of pentacles and the world card well the world cards was pretty much wrapping it up right okay so let's get into it shall we so this week for you gemini <clears throat> No, that's starting up again. <laughs> like, I haven't even been talking. I haven't done the videos, you know, for a couple days now. Like, I haven't really been using my voice like that. All right. So, with the Six of Swords as your challenges right now, it has more to do with moving beyond, you know, whatever drama, whatever trauma, um, whatever has been uh, guilt tripping you or holding you back you know from your success from you know just moving on completely from being able to embrace yourself to embrace your future um to accomplish your goals right now um that's your challenge at this time and it's like you guys are being guided you guys are being told um where to go what to do and it's like you have at least an idea however it's just a need to actually take that initiative step and do so so that's kind of what you're facing going through at this time you know for this week right but i mean it's nothing bad because you at least you're being guided to do so at least um 
you know, the next thing, of course, would lead you to as far as what to do to overcome it, what to do to get through it, um, you know, for whatever it is that you're going to be facing uh, throughout this week. But it does tell you it does have more to do with your past. It does have more to do with your shadow work. Um, and then because I'm, I'm also getting for some of you that you're probably dealing with certain individuals that might be in your ear a lot, you know, uh, just speaking negatively or, you know, like ill will things. Right. Or maybe they're probably just doing it behind your back. And it's like whether if you're hearing it or not um, or you're being told about it, whatever the case, it's just a matter of you kind of moving past it, you letting go, you being the bigger person to do so. That's another message that I'm also getting here for you guys. Um <clears throat> So as far as what to do to overcome it has to do with just a natural uh, natural cause and effect, you know, a natural balance here. Um, it, it's just a matter of fairness, being fair. So for some of you, it could just be how you're treating others, how you're treating yourself, you know, in regards to any and every area of your life, any situation in your life. Um, <clears throat> See, it's starting. It's starting. I don't know why. Every time I do readings, every time I speak, it's like they always, you know, I always end up having to clear my throat more than once. It's like, I know you guys hear it. You're probably just like fed up just as I am. It's like every single time. And I barely used my voice this whole weekend. Right? All right. So what it is that you need to embrace are the painful endings, the painful relationships, the painful, um, situations that you have endured that you have um you know been through and that's kind of i don't want to say like your challenge this week also but it kind of ties in with the six of swords at the same time just that need to let go that you know what it hurt you it made you upset it pissed you off you know whatever somebody had did to you or said to you or about you um if there was something that you felt was just unfair or unjust as far as how others have treated you or it could just be how you've treated others as well equally um there's some of that in there too but it, it, it pertains to anything in your life anything and um it's just a matter of you going through the healing right it's like being able to take the opportunity to find that that deep healing and to just keep going through with it to keep moving forward and just to pretty much like find hope in it all, just to find the lesson, to find the meaning in it all, the purpose of it all, right? Now, as far as what to expect, you have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords, okay? Now, for some of you, it could be you know, for those of you who are single, it could be a new connection, a new relationship. It could be you reunite, uh, reuniting with somebody. Um, it could just be in regards to friendships or new partnerships, work partnerships. It doesn't necessarily have to do with uh, love per se, but it could be something like that. You know, someone coming to your defense, someone sticking up for you, someone helping you, someone guiding you, um, or it could be you just doing that to yourself. It could, it could be, you know, any and all those things, whichever pertains to you, whichever resonates with you, right? Um, this is a general reading, so it all depends on how you can take these messages. If you feel like they do align with you and your purpose, then great. If not, then you can always just, you know, check the other videos um, as we go on um, and, and just revisit it at a time that it might resonate with you. But overall, it does have to do with, you know, you giving back to yourself, you re uh, reuniting with yourself also, not just necessarily with another person, um, but you kind of getting back to yourself in that sense. And just being able to forgive yourself, forgiving others <clears throat> in order to move on, in order to to have that that love, to have that 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 joyful connection, you know, that equal cooperation, right? Ooh, excuse me. You know, I drank coffee this morning and I haven't drunk coffee in so long. I just and I knew it, I knew I shouldn't have, but I was kind of craving it. Or at least the smell of it and I'm like oh so if I sound like I'm talking way too fast or I have the jitters just know it's because of the Spanish coffee it does that to you but anyway so moving on to the Queen of Swords as far as what to embrace I mean what to what to focus on right 
and it does have to do with you know overall even with the five of pentacles here because you also have what you need to let go with the six of wands um but it, it has to do with having like a clear-cut unbiased decision that you need to make um because a lot of you are wise a lot of you you know know how to communicate um <clears throat> A lot of you have to pretty much embrace that that directness that you guys do possess you know whatever truth comes at you is another thing that you guys do need to embrace um, as far as what to let go now it's coming up as the six of wands it could just be Now, I don't want to say, I don't want to say it or take it like in a negative connotation. Like, I don't want to say it in that particular way, but it could just be, you know, you finally embracing success or you gifting yourself the permission, um, you know, to be able to glow, to be able to flourish, to be able, you know, to allow others to support you, um. now it could just be the way that you're shying away from these things you know because if you look at the six of wands like well she's standing in the spotlight and keep in mind it's just energy it's not just a matter of you know male or female he or she it's just energy but just you know based off the illustration from the card it's like you can see that she's standing in the spotlight she's taking all that in she's embracing all of that um you know but what you need to be able to let go is what i'm hearing is the fact that if you if you're the type of person that does crave like external like external things like external like validation and stuff like that then that's something that you would um need to change if you're that type of person that constantly turns to other people for validation instead of turning to your own um like your own self or instead of turning within right so that's that's another thing that you need to be able to let go but um if you're also the type of person where I was getting at before was that if you're the type of person that kind of like shies away from like whatever attention or you know you're the type of person that likes to be behind the scenes and you know like instead of stepping out there being seen being shown you know you kind of like hang around behind closed doors and then like maybe like talk shit or complain or whatever the case and it's like they're just basically telling you that that's something that um you need to stop doing and you need to be able to like start shining your light and showing yourself off to the world, especially when it comes to your talents, when it comes to your abilities, when it comes to your knowledge. Um, and that's something that you need to be able to share. And that's what you need to be able to let go. All that shyness, you need to really step into your power, step into the light and let the world see you for who you are, who you think you are, right? <clears throat> now, what you need to focus on is the five of pentacles, feeling sorry for yourself, getting yourself into this mess constantly telling yourself well you know i keep dealing with these same individuals or i keep getting the same outcome or i keep getting these same problems over and over again and they're not being resolved and it's like well that you know that there are ways to you know for it to be resolved you know what to do you know how to do it you know how to get yourself out of these situations and the fact that if you look at the illustration in the five of pentacles hopefully you guys can see it but there's a key there and it's like she's crying and it's like you see the light beaming down on the key you see the light beaming down period and it's like well she's not looking to the light she's not looking to the key and they're trying to show her it's like you have the key you have the power in order to change certain outcomes change the way you view certain things and then you choose not to so as far as you know just to wrap it up for the week okay because that's something these are things that you guys just need to to really focus on in order to let go in order to move past the past really um, in order to just embrace it, accept whatever happened between you and an individual, accept whatever happened between you and a company, um, you and anything, you know, whatever it is you may have done or they may have done to you, it's just to kind of accept it. And it's like, you know what, so what it happened, move on. That's literally what this reading is all about. Just move on because you can't keep holding back on that. You, you can't keep, you know, focusing so much on that, that it's preventing you from being able to be successful. It's preventing you you know to to be able to move on and then especially when you're throwing yourself you know pity parties and thinking that oh you know this always happens to me or i always have to deal with this or i blah, blah, blah. listen <laughs> listen 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 to what these cards are telling you listen to what i'm telling you 
based off of the channel messages by the way <laughs> but it's like you know you guys have the tools you guys have the resources you guys have the ability in order to change it it's just a matter of you willing to let go of everything you need to let go in order to stay focused um to win you know that victory to be able to just accomplish things the way that you need to the way that you should and just being a little bit more optimistic here okay that's pretty much what you're you're being led to do what you're being uh required to do here just to be a little bit more optimistic and focus on the light focus on the good things rather than you know the negative or the ones that are just unpleasant overall okay so the world card of course just to wrap up the uh <laughs> to wrap up the weekend well to wrap up the week really i mean technically it'll be the weekend that'll end it but it's just to have like a new level of uh, of a perspective of consciousness just being able to focus on the joy of things you know getting back to that focusing more so on that on how you can actually have like greater solutions um in order to accomplish things in your life or relationships or bonds or connections like focusing on the good focusing on the positive focusing on you know the light part of it rather than the shadow but it, of course you would have to go through and do the shadow work in order to do that in order to accomplish that um and for others of you it could just be that you're leaving that you're just traveling somewhere just going somewhere it might not even have to be just out of state or out of the country but it could just be like you know somewhere like out of your element um like just to kind of change scenery okay um you are being required to do that if you're not or if that wasn't your plan but you are being asked to do that um just to take a breather that's it just to really take a breather um and if you guys haven't done so already you should be checking out your uh spirit guide messages for this week uh well actually it won't be coming out till later on this week but when it does i do encourage you guys to check that out um because it kind of does resonate a little bit like it correlates with it as far as you know what you should do and those are just main messages for your spirit guides or from your spirit guides your higher self the universe etc right you know whatever it is that you gave light and love to all right so let's go ahead and get some messages <clears throat> any guided messages from your spirit guides from the universe let's see what they have to say all right so in case you guys are wondering um i did switch decks but i'm using the vice versa deck all right so you guys have the tower you have the five of wands and then you have the emperor here <clears throat> so a lot of you are being are required to put your swords down to stop arguing to stop fighting to stop resisting the change you know it's like if you're going to keep going on with that cycle then you're going to keep expecting the same results and then you're going to keep complaining and yada 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 and it's like well you need to stop fighting and resisting others you need to stop fighting with yourself or your higher self or your spirit guides you know whenever they're telling you and trying to lead you into the right direction um only because it's, it's, it's really bad for your energy overall it's really bad for your well-being and it's going to keep diminishing your light so there's going to be something um that will be shaking up your world a little bit just because well, actually let me turn this yep okay so on the bright side of this right because this is all about this or that so on the bright side of this tower moment it's like well you know what it happened now it's just a matter of you becoming victorious from it okay so a lot of you might be suffering with this throughout this week you know whatever your challenges may be as discussed you know with the the six of swords previously um but it has to do with you constantly arguing you constantly bickering you constantly fighting um with others especially what i'm hearing is just in regards to getting what you want but they want you to stop doing that and to stop resisting it um because change is inevitable and if you're not willing to change then there's going to be something that's going to shake you up a little bit to kind of move you in that direction especially if you're not willing to do so on your own um <clears throat> but you are being required let me see which side is this okay so i think this is the front side yeah i think this is the front yeah it looks like the front <laughs> i keep forgetting i keep forgetting i'm so sorry guys just <laughs> bear with me because i keep forgetting now this does have to do with um thinking strategically you know and and then planning as well you know analytically and just being able to take action you know the emperor is always about taking action um 
logically, right? Whatever it is that um, <clears throat> he can put his mind to, he can achieve. But um, it also means just addressing the issues that you harbor. You know, especially when it comes to authority, control, willpower, things of that nature. It's just a matter of you, ooh, excuse me, it's just a matter of you addressing it, you facing it, okay? Being able to find the opportunities to be of service with others. And it did, um, I forgot to mention that in the cards previously, but that was another key point too, uh, to see what, what it is that you can do for other people, not just for yourself. Because in doing so, you know, you'd be surprised at what doors can open up for you, okay? So, now, um, I guess that pretty much wraps up your reading. <laughs> but just be confident in your endeavors. Just be confident in the things that you choose to do. You know, embrace all that might have been ugly, unpleasant. Embrace it, accept it. And then there you go. Actually, yeah, let me flip it this way. All right, so that concludes your reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next go around.